Magical Cookie fans, you are back. It's time for Pokemon Part 2. Oh, what's Cyndaquil doing? So we are back from getting some Pokemon, and now it's time to run to the headquarters and meet up with everybody else. <gasps> oh, yes! Guys, did you guys watch in the first part? Whenever I found this little guy, he's so cute. I can't wait to see what other Pokemons we find. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. All right. Uh, hello. Ooh, she looks very busy. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. Yes, I made it. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours. The official uniform of the Survey Corps. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, it's a uniform and sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Go change into your uniform. Use the mirror in your quarters to make sure you put it on right. All right, cool. I'll be right back. Let's get dressed. Time to put on Survey Corps uniform and sandals. Yes, okay. Oh, I can change her eye color too. Oh, yellow green, lavender ice, poppy red. Sweet, now I will blend in with everybody else. Hey, I'm dressed like you now. <laughs> Look at you, the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. You, regarding your accommodations, you may continue to stay in the room you slept in last night. Thank you. You may wear this as well. <gasps> yes, she keeps giving me so many things. I'm fitting in perfectly into this new town. Now, present yourself to the commander. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. <gasps> I know this isn't it. There's somebody studying in here. Hello. It's a brave new land we're living in, which means that there's a whole lot to do. Okay, there's someone else in here. Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. <gasps> Eevee! <laughs> Hi! Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. There's another door. I can't get into them. Okay, let's go up. Oh, there he is. Hmm. I have been waiting for you. You have? Did you know I was coming? I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So, you are Cookie, YouTuber. Uh, yes. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat! Oh. Uh, what? Try to throw him or charge at him? I can't. Can I throw him? I don't even know if I can pick him up. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> You've got some fight in you. I'm on the ground. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider. Aww. Especially one who literally fell right out of the blue. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Life Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Cookie, Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. But they're just so cute. So, the commander has also accepted you. Hmm. But understand this, you begin as a no star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. That's okay, ma'am, I'm just happy to be here. Perform and you will move up the ranks. Here, you'll need this. She loves giving me gifts. Now I got a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. She gave me 3,000 bucks. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, uh, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Okay, we're gonna be learning the basics of crafting. My name is Anthe. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Hi, thank you. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Oh, here he comes. Come on, let's get crafting. This way to the craft works. Oh, I can hit him with a Pokeball. Oh, <gasps> you can hit him with a Pokeball. This is where you can craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? There it is. As for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend it however you like. Oh, I will, thank you. All right, let's get crafting. Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. Here you go. All right, I got my Pokédex. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you are ready, my good cookie. Okay, great. We're off to catch Pokémon. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Uh, sure. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. So, there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? No. Well, you see, I was having a chat with the professor. He told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, so if you can catch a Wurmple, would you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. Don't tell anybody. Okay, I will be on the lookout. Come on, Bidoof. I wonder what a Starly would look like. Wait a minute, I have a Starly. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, you're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Could you 
kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. But when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Wait a minute, let's go to the Pokedex. Don't I have that? Yeah, Starly. She wants to see this? Well, I have it, but... I think, okay, I need to report to the professor about this new species I've managed to catch, and then maybe I can show her. All right, ma'am, I will be back. Here it is. But I need to talk to the professor about it, so I'll be back. Okay. Well, this guy has a request too. A photo lasts a lifetime. How about a sitting? You can take pictures together with your Pokemon. <gasps> Me and the Bidoof, we can take a photo. I mean, I've got some money. It'd be perfect to spend it on this. I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your photo taken? Okay, let me get into place here. Take out the Bidoof. It just says take photos. I don't know how to get my... Wait, maybe I have to get it out over here? All right, let's prepare a Pokemon. Bidoof. Oh, look at it. It's ready for its photo. All set. We'll have you stand to the right of your Pokemon. It will look lovely. All right, let's change the background. So we've got different colors. Purple. Oh, <gasps> You guys can actually do like a green screen with your Pokemon. Oh, I can change my pose? You can change her face! You can actually direct the Pokemon too? He's acting normally now. Now let's have him look happy. Pretend to faint? Oh, act dizzy? Oh, check it out! You put anything you want in the background! DJ Music Man, perfect. Looks like we're falling from the sky now. We're on a rainbow. Oh, a giant beat of... Oh, wait, there's a quest here. Uh, can I help you? I know Shinx's ears have odd markings on the inside, but what were they? Catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. I also have that one too. It's adorable. I love this one. But I don't think he's gonna be able to interact with this one until I talk to the professor about it. Oh, so cute. Here, check it out. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. That's it. These ears, they have that yellow cross pattern on them. Kind of like a star. I can't tell you what a relief this is. All right, cool. I got some potions. Now to meet up with the professor. Heading outside the village? Stay safe out there, kid. All right, let's get into it, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out. There's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Cookie. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge, like your life depends on it. Uh, okay, look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go. Okay. See, that's how you dodge. Pretty smooth. Timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's the key if you'd rather not end up a black doll in some field like I did. What? When those Shinx got me with the Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. Whoa. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Thank you. All right, we gotta catch some adorable Pokemon that aren't even scary or anything at all. So this right here attacked him? A whole mob of them? They're so adorable. Okay. Oh, I saw... Oh, did you guys see it? There was like three Bidoofs out there. There was three Bidoofs. <gasps> there it is. Did you see that your research tasks for the Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? Oh, please tell me we can catch more. That's right. Catching just one won't do. You've got to get two, then four, then maybe more and more. Yes. Oh, this is going to be my favorite task of them all. Okay. We're going to catch multiple. It's going to be like the best. Hi. Okay, catch you. That's too easy. There's two more down here. Catch you. Oh, oh, no. Oh, it's trying to run. Okay, caught that one. This one's running off into the woods. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? So they're cute and they're fast? Is it around the rock? Oh, there's a Shinx. This is the one you have to battle. Sneak up carefully. Got it. Oh, it got away. No, uh oh. Time to battle. We gotta put him in a Pokeball while he's distracted. Got him. No. No, we got out. It grew enraged. He attacked my Bidoo. Try another Pokeball. Come on, get in there. Oh, I got him. Whew. Good, you got the Tumble Stone. Let me see if I can sneak up on one of them. Hopefully it doesn't alert the other one that I'm here. Oh, no, it's alerted. It's alerted, it's enraged. Oh no, it's chasing after me. Oh, there's another one right here. Ow, ow. Oh no, oh no. They are dangerous. It's running after me. It's seen me, it's seen me. Oh, it's getting so ow. Okay, this isn't good. I need to catch them. Okay, can it get anything from the tree? Okay, there we go. I got an orange berry. Hey, I just got attacked by the Shinx like you have been attacked. So, 
One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? You can get that done if you hide in some tall grasses to catch him. Give it a try. I'll go wait up ahead. Come catch up once you're finished some tasks. He said nothing about me being attacked. Okay, hopefully these ones won't attack. I just need to stay in the grasses. Throw the Pokeball. Go. Perfect. Oh, the other one's alerted though. It's just watching. Oh, it got out. It got out. It's telling its friend. What do I do? Okay, try again. It doesn't seem like alerted. Like, it doesn't seem upset that it was almost caught. Okay, got it. Oh, the other one's running. I'll have to go around in the grasses. Sneak over here, go over this way, stay low. It's right there. Should be a nice, easy catch. Got it. Yes, okay. There's another Shinx over there. Maybe I can try to catch this one since it's just one. Stay low. Oh, it's right there. Did I get it? No, it escaped, it's running. It's alerted. It's angry. Maybe I can try again. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Ah! Okay, all right, all right, all right. It doesn't want to get caught. Time to battle it. Use the rollout. There we go, roll it over. Okay, let's roll out again. Oh, there we go. I got a cherry berry. Oh, there's the other one. There it is over there. It's getting a drink of water by the river. Now's the perfect time. Where'd it go? Did it just disappear? Did it fall into the water? Where'd it go? I don't see it. Oh, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. What? Oh, okay. What is that? There's something else. Is it friendly? Please don't attack me. Please just get into the Pokeball. It's a Buizel, unobtained. Well, until now, get to the Pokeball. Come on, please stay in it. I got it. Yes. Okay, Ray should be impressed with that. Caught lots of Pokemon. Oh yeah, you found the Pokemon called Weasel, huh? It's got an aggressive disposition. Yep, that's it, right there. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like a Shinx, and you'll need to battle to catch it. Uh, don't tell him I easily just caught it while I was sitting looking at the water. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, if you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. Ooh, that definitely happened to me. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Okay, good to know. And speaking of which, your research test for Buizel includes seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see the move and battle for it to count toward the task. So, battling is an extra key here. I'm going on ahead. Catch up once you've checked off some of those Buizel's tasks. Okay, we'll battle this one too. There it is, battle time. So now we're gonna use Starly and we're gonna have Starly do a gust. There you go, stun it with your wings. Another gust. Oh, come on Starly, see if I can catch it. Get in, it's distracted by the fight. Yes, got it. It dropped a leak for me to get. Oh, and there's another one up here. Collect that. What is this? There's something slithering. It's a Whirlpool, unobtained. Oh, this is what that one guy wanted. This is the one that evolves. All right, caught that one, right? Oh, it's out, it's out again. Come on, come on, get back in. We'll try to catch it while Starly distracts it. There we go. Yep, got it. Wurmple. Let's have Starly also go up there and get these little berries. Apricorns. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Oh, thank you. Great, it contains everything I might need for crafting even when there's no workbench around. Perfect. And here's a recipe for potions too. Thank you again. Check in with Professor Laventon. See you soon. I think he'll be pretty pleased with the number of Pokemon I've caught. There's more Starlies and Bidoof's over there. Oh, I think one is sleeping. Oh, it's sleeping. Should I catch it while it's sleeping? See if I can catch him without being spotted. Go. Come on. Yes! Whenever he wakes up, you're gonna be in the Pokeball. <gasps> yes, you guys, it's a Ponyta. Oh, I have to catch it. I have to catch it. I have to catch it. Please, please be caught. No, don't run. No, 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 get back in the Pokeball. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh no, Starly fainted. Get up, Badoof. Get up, Badoof. I need this one. Roll out. Is that gonna do anything? Oh, okay, I did. Pokeball, I have to use it. I have to use it. Please, please work this time. Yes! I caught it! Woo! Pony 
Ponyta! I'm very happy with that. Oh, I'm so happy. You guys, there are some of the coolest Pokemon that I've seen that I absolutely cannot wait to find, and this one was definitely one of them. Okay, I just have to be careful going around the Shinx. Oh, they spotted me. Please don't attack me. There you go. Go back to your normal business of being cute. Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. I know I shouldn't disturb him, but I really want to catch one. Throw the ball. Yes, I caught it. Just roll up the hill. There we go. Hey, Professor, look at what I caught. I have to show him this one. Professor, check it out. Ponyta. He makes me so happy. Oh. It does not seem to be very happy to be caught, but that's okay. What do you think, Professor? Excellent work, dear girl. Let me check your research test to see what you've completed thus far. Pretty good, huh? Three Bidoofs. Got 2,000 bucks. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. Do you mind catching me a couple more Bidoofs? You got it, Professor. So it looks like I need to defeat one in battle and catch three more. There's one. Two. Three. Oh, wait, one got out. Come on, Ponyta. Wait, he ran away? He doesn't want a battle. Okay, for the Starlies, I need to catch two more without being spotted and defeat one of them. I need one more Bidoof, and then hopefully I can get a one-star rating. See what the professor thinks. Oh, you've got five Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Yeah, check it out. Got a little bit of some money for that. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. All right, I'll update the Pokédex. With their preferred foods, they all prefer to have peas and wheat. Still no star. All right, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try to get one last Bidoof. I think I saw a pack of them over here. There they are. There's two of them. I just have to battle one more. I think this one went into the bushes though. There it is. Hard to see it. It's too stunned to move. Perfect. Refill up on these cherry berry. Where's that other ponyta? There's another, wait, this one's got red eyes. Look at how big this one is. Try to catch this one. Oh, I don't have any more Pokeballs. Okay, I have to quickly craft a new Pokeball. Let's see if I can catch it. Oh, it's mad. Oh, it's mad. I'm sorry, I just want to capture you. Okay, I think I need to come back when I'm higher level. Oh, oh, it's really upset. Oh, there's something different. Let's try to catch this one. It's a Drifloon. Let's throw a Pokeball at it. Got it. All right, let's head back to the professor. Oh, I see you got two Pokemon. Let's report. Please give me a star. Please, 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 please. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Saline. You earned yourself a star. Yes! Okay, hi. I got a Wurmple for you. Really? Yep, this one right here. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Yes. You really brought me one. You must be as good as they say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon as a beauty fly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm. Tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautisha, Beautifred, Bugene. I think they're all beautiful. <laughs> we'll go with Beautifred. Yeah, I like Beautifred too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Beautifred to be splendiferous. Beautifly. Wait and see. <coughs> Dazzling honey. Enjoy your Pokemon. <coughs> so cute. Oh, there's its name. Hmm. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. She's gonna be very impressed with this. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Thank you, ma'am. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. All right. Oh, wow, there's a lot to get. Have these as well. They are future recipes you'll need for crafting. More gifts? She's gonna give me more things. Uh, thank you, ma'am. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky yet flourish among us. This is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Thank you, ma'am. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up the ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it. And even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. But not me. Keep working. Thank you, ma'am. Excellent. Well, for today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. All right, so now I get to enjoy this delicious meal. This was so much fun. I love collecting all these different Pokemon. Be amazing, be magical, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, amazing cookies.